Have you ever picked up a spell book and be like, uh, what do I choose? Currently, there are a total of 21 spells, so it can be a little bit difficult for you to choose. I will be covering each spell's usages and how it can be implemented in your survival, then ranking based off of that. With that being said, let's rank the first column, which are the fire spells. Throw fire. The first fire spell is an AoE that has the ability to burn things around it. This has many uses, including the easy access to getting charcoal and also cooking your food. This spell is also the first spell that you get when you choose to play the wizard character, and it also does Come a decent on, amount of damage. Fire Blast, another fire spell, which is very similar to Throw Fire. It's just bigger and takes more EP. So with that, I rate the fire spells in okay because they have good offense, but they're lacking the defense. The last fire spell is called the Summon Fire Servant. This is the spell where you spawn a fire dummy. Fire servants have a wide range of usages, one of them being Bye, a good distraction for getting away. You can also use it as a tank when you're Why fighting you other me? monsters. These fire servants won't be your main source of damage because... So I would say these guys are... Uh, okay. They, they can get you away from life endangering situations, but they won't be a good source of damage. The next category of spells is the frost spells. The first spell in this category is called the frost blow. This is a single target ability and has the chance to freeze your enemies. This spell is fairly simple. Uh, it's not that good. There's some cases oh, no. where you might have two or more enemies attacking you and this spell just won't be effective. The next frost spell is called the ice spear. This spell actually pierces through enemies. So if enemies line up, you can actually hit them in a straight line. This spell also has the chance to freeze. But then I think about it, rarely do enemies stack up in a line just for you. They usually surround you, so those kind of situations are unlikely. So I'd say um, it's okay. This spell actually has a long range, so it kind of makes up for all the other bad reasons. The last frost spell is called the frost cyclone. This is an AoE and has the chance to stun or freeze. Okay, this spell is actually crazy. Go crazy! If you think about it, this is an AoE stun. Dude, you can stun like three enemies around you. I don't know a single bad thing about this spell, so I'd say this is probably a must-have spell. AoE stun. Can't go wrong with that. The next category of spells would be lightning spells. First spell on this list is electroshock. This spell is a single target spell that has a chance to stun your enemies. Electroshock is very similar to Frostblow since it is a single target and it can stun people. So I'll just put it where Frostblow is. The next spell is Chain Lightning. Chain Lightning is an AoE and also a stun. But the AoE is kind of limited because you can only uh, target up to three targets. Go again. Which can be very restricting at times. So I'd say it's pretty good even though it's limited. The next spell is the Summon Lightning Spear. This spell is another one of those servant spells. Um, same reasons like the last servant, which was the fire. So I would put them in the same place as the other servants. In fact, I'll just put the last servant in the same place as well because they, they basically do the same thing. Now we are onto the poison spells. The first spell is called Summon Poison Thorn. Summon Poison Thorn is a long range single target immobilizing spell. Now that sounds pretty good. The Poison Thorns are a good source of damage from long range, and it can also be used as a way to get out. Even though a single target, um, it's it has good range, and it can immobilize, so I'd, I'd put it in good. The next spell is the Poisonous Weapon. This spell enhances your weapons with more damage from Poison. Poisonous Weapon is generally a good spell for taking down really tanky mobs like bosses, I'm actually going to put this one in good. The last poisonous spell is the Poison Cloud. This spell basically just fills up the whole room with poison. And this also affects you in the room as well. I don't get the point of this spell. I mean, you're hurting yourself to also hurt others in the room. I don't think that's a good thing to do when you're, try when you're trying to survive. So with that, uh... This is complete dope. Onto our next category, we have the Dark Spells, which include the Dark Missile, which is a single target spell. Oh wait, that's that's it. There's actually nothing to this spell. Um, <laughs> well, it's not as bad as the Poison Cloud, so I'll just put it like bottom tier, a little less doo-doo. Dark Veil is a spell that increases your surprise attack chance, and in addition, 
increase your stealth stat. Um, I've noticed that this is very random even though uh, my stealth has increased. Sometimes even with increased stealth, the chance of, of enemies tracking you is still very random. But in most cases, the stealth will actually work and give you enough steps to get away. But this can also be used offensively as well since your surprise attack chance increases. So I'd say it's okay. Moving on, we have the light spells. The first spell is the Light Purification. Light Purification is a self-cast that you can heal yourself with. This spell also removes any debuffs like fire, uh, poison, ultimately really good. I use this every single game of my, of my runs. You basically win the game if you have this spell. Flash Strike is the next spell and it is an AoE that blinds people. Okay, this is just like the AoE stun, except this one blinds people. So if enemies attack you, they'll miss no matter what. And I've noticed for bosses, it's usually three turns that they're blinded. So you basically don't take damage for three turns. And that that's okay. What? <laughs> yeah, you already know where I'm going to put this. Light barrier is the next light spell. And let me just put this spell down here real quick. And let me tell you why. Light barrier, when you use it, it will create a defense for one attack. So basically like half a turn because the enemy will attack you right after you use a spell. So I really don't get the point of this spell if if so if two attacks come in, only one attack will go through since the other attack is blocked. So I dude, this spell is completely useless. And on to our last category of spells, we have the space spells. Teleport is the first one. Yeah, you, you get this one to teleport to. This, this spell is basically an easy escape for you. That's it. <laughs> So this is your free getaway card, completely a must have. The next space spell is the Space Distortion. Space Distortion is an AoE that displaces targets. So it basically gives you a free turn. And think about it, it's AoE too, oh my god. You can displace like 10 targets dude. You know me and AoE spells man, these spells are just crazy. The last spell is gonna be the Space Time Explosion. This spell is also an AoE. But instead of displacing enemies like the last spell, you can actually just stop the enemies in place. So again, an extra free turn. Dude, you, you already know what I'm going to do with this one. Boom! And there you have it. This is my tier list for all of the spells in the game. And now onto the few recommendations I will give to you guys. So for boss battles, I'd say the one spell you only need is Flash Strike. Because <laughs> you just blind the, en uh, blind the boss for like three turns. And now for the best spells for everyday use. So like the best for survival. So here's what I'm rocking. I use teleport, light purification, and flash strike. Teleport for the easy escapes and easy maneuver around zones. Light purification for healing. It's like, dude, it's actually so broken. And then lastly, flash strike. So a damage source that is AOE and can blind people. If not flash strike, you can have the must have choices of AOE on the tier list like space distortion, space time explosion, frost cyclone, but I'd say flash strike comes on top out of all the AoE spells 